Okay, so welcome to our team call tonight. Um, I'm so excited because tonight we have Greg Armfield, who, if you guys remember, you were in the um, Dash to Diamond group. Um, he was actually basically put all of that together, did all of the tracking um, for all of that group. So that was a really fun group that we got to run and get to know each other. So um, I really admire him a lot. He's also um, on the DC Charlotte or the DC Market Council uh, and hosts the DC Super Saturdays. Which, if you are anywhere near that area, you have to go sometime. They're awesome. It's a huge, huge, huge production, and they all make it flow very seamlessly. So I will <laughs> maybe be picking your brain a couple more times. We have Autumn and Carl coming to ours. Um, oh, nice. This time. So we're, we're, we're trying to put all the finishing touches in, but it's a big production. So, um, and he's been a, um, how long have you been a coach? I don't think I asked you that part. I've been a coach for five years. Five years. Okay. So he is not a rookie to this business. He's a nine star diamond. He's got 11 total diamonds. Three times elite. Oh, let me man it, uh, mute everyone. Um, which is really, really cool. Three times uh, pushing for four this year. He's an SC5 legend with 52 consecutive months. Just do the math. That's crazy. And then SC10 all star for 19 consecutive months. So almost a legend for 10 and has just been successful at five longer than most of you have been coaching. So <laughs> he is definitely rocking his business. And he's going to talk to us tonight about running free groups, which a lot of you do. But one of the problems that we have is conversion. So we're excited to listen to how you decide to, you know, how it works for you to convert free groups to clients and, and customers and, and coaches, because that is where we were kind of struggling. So we are very excited for this, and I'm going to go ahead and let you do your thing. Okay, I'll unmute myself there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, welcome guys. Uh, I was in the Diamond Dash, so how many people were in the Diamond Dash? Okay, one. So um, I, did talk, yeah. I did talk about free groups in there, so this I'll just go into more depth to what I talked about in that, that video. Um, a little about me to start with. Um, like April said, I've been a coach for five years, and I started as a customer, like probably most of you guys. Uh, started as a challenger, did P90X. Um, I lost 40 pounds, and I started drinking Shakeology, and I contacted my coach for a discount. And that was, uh, you know, I told him not to expect anything out of me. The only thing I wanted was, you know, the discount on Shakeology. So he placed me on an inside leg under his wife. And uh, I've gotten like three coaches, you know, from my upline. But that shows you that um, you can still build a very successful business on your own. And, uh, you know, there's definitely advantages to that. So, um, April, I, I think I shared with you my uh, building, uh, maximizing volume and building strategy. So, if you guys are interested, you could watch that. But anyway, um, tonight I will talk to you guys. I, you know, I've always run challenge groups. I, you know, as soon as I became a coach, uh, I, you know, once I got over the, you know, just getting the discount, I got into the training, I started. Um, running challenge groups and, and I figured well if my coach could do it it couldn't be that hard so I kind of started running them myself uh, myself and uh, you know you know uh, I didn't get into free groups like doing my own thing um, until probably a couple years ago and that really helped me expand uh, my warm market and primarily on Facebook. I don't do Instagram. I know April is the queen of Instagram, but um, for me, it's mainly Facebook. And, uh, you know, I'm a guy, so uh, didn't have a lot of friends to start with on Facebook. Had like 32 friends, and most of them were family. So I was kind of starting from scratch, and the free groups were a great way for me to expand and make new connections. So um, let me start by just sharing my screen with you guys. Let's see. Okay. And can you all see that? Okay. Go to the next slide. So why do you want to run free groups? Uh, you want to run free groups because 
that allows you to build trust with people. Now, for me, you know, as a guy, um, you know, just posting on social media and, you know, trying to friend girls and, you know, even guys, it was difficult, right? I mean, they just, they're not going to naturally be attracted to me or, or trust me. So free groups really helped me build that trust. So what I would do is I would, you know, in, invite people and friend people, you know, in the process of getting them into the group, right? And then over the period of that group, you know, whether it's, you know, 10 days, 20 days, 30 days, whatever, then I could build a relationship with people and I can build that trust with people. So that really helped me. So if you guys are struggling with that, that's, you know, the number one reason to run free groups, um, you know, expanding your warm market, you know, building trust, obviously gaining new friends, followers, uh, potential customers and coaches. So that's why we do it now. Um, what kind of free groups my my coaches always ask me this and let me first say that you know if you guys are running for groups already um there is no right way and no wrong way to run it you know i can tell you that i've, I've run it like many different ways and you know my coaches say you know oh I'm, i must be doing it wrong because uh, you know i'm not running it like greg don't worry about that just take what i'm giving you and just like mix it into what you're doing you know just um you try different things, you know, you can mix it up and maybe if something that I say resonates with you and you'd be like, Oh yeah, well, you know, I should try that or I should do that this month. Just see how it goes. Because I have not always done the free groups the same way. You know, it's like I change it up every month and see, you know, kind of what works best. So uh, different types of free groups is, uh, you know, a fitness group. And that was something that I do a lot. I do fitness groups um, and I'll talk more about those. Um, we probably all do clean eating groups, right? Those are pretty basic, and I can talk to you about how I do my clean eating groups. Um, one of my coaches, one of my um, soon-to-be diamond coaches, she's this month. She's running a smoothie group where she's uh, going to, you know, create uh, recipes and pass out a shopping list to people, and they're going to create their own, you know, uh, healthy smoothies. But obviously, they're not going to be as healthy as Shakeology, so that's going to be a perfect segue for her into getting people into Shakeology. So that was a good idea. Um, I've done the thirty-day Beachbody on Demand free um, free groups before. I find, I found personally that they were a little tough because you got to get people to commit to giving their credit card to signing up and stuff. So, um, but you know, I throw that out there because um, I ha I've done it and some of my coaches have done it and been successful with it. Uh, obviously, you know, running, biking, other types of sports, like if you're in this mud run, mud, you know, tough mudders or Spartans or stuff like that. I have a lot of guy coaches and, and they're into those. And so they try to target, you know, those, those type of things. Okay. So how long, now everybody asks me that, you know, it's like, oh, how long should it be? You know, I have, you know, I have some coaches like, uh, some of my girl boss coaches, they run the bridal boot camps, you know, and they do the 30 day fitness and they have huge success with those 30 day ones. For me personally, um, I found 30 days to be too long. Uh, you know, one, it's, it's a lot of work, uh, you know, doing them every 30 days, you never get time off, you know, um, so for me, like the fitness ones, I found the 21 days were really good for me. Um, cause that gave me like at least a week break. Um, and the 21 days allowed me to build a lot of trust with people over those 21 days. Um, but it is kind of difficult to keep people engaged for those 21 days and you do lose a lot of people. And I know we all struggle with that, right? I'm just having people fall off or disappear or whatever. Now I'll talk more about like how I keep people engaged and, and reaching out to people and private messaging them and running contests and giving away prizes and all that type of stuff is, is strategies that I use to keep people engaged. Um, the past couple of months I've been doing 10 day clean eating challenges and I found that's been working out really well with keeping people engaged, you know, really well for 10 days. And, uh, so that, you know, so you can mix it up. You can try different things like this month. You'll try a fitness one for maybe a little longer. Next month you'll do clean eating. Um, you know, however you want to do it. Okay. So how do I invite to the free groups? Um, I tell my new coaches, it's just start with your warm market, you know, create a, an event on your Facebook page, invite all your friends, you know, uh, put in the event description, you know, what you're doing, create a, you know, a live video and post it in the event. 
about what it is and uh, you know, make it sound really fun. So that's the great way to start. Um, but if you're like me and you've been running them for a while and um, you want to figure out how to get more people into the groups, uh, what I do is sometimes I'll email uh, my leads, my, my Facebook, um, not my Facebook, but my blog. I have blog leads, so I'll mail um, leads out to, uh, emails out to those leads and invite them into the free groups and offer that to them. Um, I also sometimes will email my customers and it's a great way to get your customers re-engaged. So if you have like, you know, some customers from a year or two ago or however long you've been a coach and, you know, maybe they bought a challenge pack or workout program from you or maybe they were a free lead that you got, you know, reaching out to them again and offering them something free, you might be a good way to get them re-engaged. So that, that's a, um, a good idea. Uh, one thing that I do is Facebook advertising. So if you guys are not doing that, I would highly recommend uh, doing that. I, I'm sure you guys uh, are aware of many different types of training out there. Jesse Reagan and Amy Porterfield and Steve McDonald are all good uh, resources for, you know, doing that type thing. But I would say, you know, start with your Facebook page. Um, now I have created an event off my Facebook page and I've promoted those events. So that's one way of doing it. I found that um, I prefer currently just, and I play around with different ways as we all do with Facebook advertising, right? What's working today may not work tomorrow. And, you know, um, you might find that something works, gets a little more engagement over something else. Um, but right now I am just creating like a post and then I will boost that post. And, um, and that works really well for me. And then you guys can, you know, you can go in and you can target the market, you know, the niche that you're going after. Um, you know, for example, if you're just going after women age 20 to 30, you know, you can do that or me, you know, I can go after guys or, or whatever. Um, so that, that's great. Sometimes I create a blog cause I have a website and I create a blog and, and maybe I'll do a Google ad for it. Um, and, and, and I can tell you that a great way is to ask for referrals. So when I get like, if I run an ad, let's say I run an ad for 20 bucks, you know, and I may get 20 people from that ad to join my group. Well, then what I'll do is like before the group even starts is I'll offer a contest for whoever invites the most people I will give like an Amazon gift card to, you know, and I, I mean, I've had people invite like 50 people into the group before, you know, so, um, you know, sometimes I don't even tell them what the prize is and they're like competing for this prize, you know, just to win. They don't even know what it is. And, you know, sometimes it's just like a couple packets of Shakeology, but they're inviting all their friends. So definitely do that. That definitely works. Um, here's just a sample ad I did. Uh, might be a little hard to read, but um, it's just real simple. Um, not a lot of wording. Um, I do, in this example here, I did have a form that people filled out, like a Google form or a Wufu form. I have found out that that's kind of a barrier to entry, and a lot of people, I would, I would look at the stats, because I'm an Emerald personality, and I would see a lot of people that would go to the form, and they would not fill it out. So that frustrated me, so I stopped doing the form. But if you guys see the forms, that's great. I mean, obviously it's probably working for you, but just look at the stats and look at like how many people are actually clicking on the link, but not filling it out. And if you don't know how to do that, you can do a bit.ly and, and bit.ly will track the stats for you. So now what I do is I, I, I'll just say comment below, you know, um, and that works out real well. And I think I have that on the next slide. So, you know, it's like you can just tell people, you know, the call to action, you know, just comment, message me. You can fill out the application, you know, or um, you could just give them the link to the group right in the ad. But I don't like to do that because, or in the event, I don't like to do that because I'd rather screen the people because if I don't screen them, I'll get a lot of coaches, <laughs> you know, so we all have that problem. So I, I like to kind of screen them. And if, if I can tell they're a coach, then, then I'll just message them and just, you know, politely say that you can't join my group. <laughs> But uh, if I can't tell, then I'll just go ahead and add them into the group or I'll send them the link. I'll message them, right? If they comment on my Facebook page, you can uh, message anybody who comments on your Facebook page, right? Right from your Facebook page, right? And it goes into their inbox. It doesn't even go into their other box. So that works out real well. And I get, you know, I'll introduce myself and give them the link and they can just click on it and um, 
once I get them in the group, then I'll send them the friend request. It's a lot easier than me trying to send them a friend request, wait for them to accept, and then add them into the group. So that's just the way I do it. Okay, so here's how I uh, run like my fitness groups. What I'll do is instead of giving them the whole schedule up front, I, I break it down. I give them one post a day, right? So, you know, you can just go into PicMonkey and you can create a day one, day two, day three. Then I load them all up into Buffer. Um, if you're not familiar with Buffer, it's like, Postcron, Hootsuite, any of those others. I like Buffer a lot. Um, I'll just load them all up, all 10 or 20 days in there. And um, the exercise, like if you're doing a fitness one, I have the exercises start really simple. And then, I mean, they're always the same. It would be like, you know, squats, planks, push ups. Unless I'm, you know, you could always do core challenges or arm challenges or butt challenges or, or whatever you want to do. But, um, you know, I always have the numbers start really low and then every day they'll build. Right, so it might start with five sit-ups, and then then it goes to ten, or I mean, then it goes to you know six and seven and eight, and just builds from there every day. Um, and I find that works really well. Um, you don't want to make them too difficult because you, you will get beginners in there. So I typically design it for beginners, and if I get intermediate or advanced people in there, I'll just say do it twice or do it three times, you know, to to wear yourself out. So. Um, that works well. Now, avoid these pitfalls. Um, you know, typically I'll make a post or I'll create a file. And, you know, I, I just, you know, recommend establishing that you're not an expert, right? You know, establish that you're not a doctor. You're not a nutritionist. Unless you are, you know, which is great. You know, you're probably not a personal trainer. So, um, what I do is I don't even demonstrate the moves because, you know, if you have people that are doing beach body workouts and following the nutrition guide, well, you've got beach body that covers any liability there, right? But if you're doing your own, you know, you don't want to get, you know, uh, liable for, you know, if somebody injures themselves or whatever. So, you know, if, if, I, um, if I'm doing like uh, crunches, plank squats, whatever, I'll just go on YouTube, I'll find an expert out there, I'll post their video, you know, and they're demonstrating the proper form. Um, you know, if I'm doing clean eating, I will definitely tell people, you know, this is um, how to eat clean, this is what you want to avoid, you know, these are clean foods, but I won't give them, now my personally, I will not give them a, a specific meal plan. You know, I will not say, you know, Monday, you're going to eat this and you're going to eat that and you're going to eat that, you know, because I, I just want to avoid, uh, you know, somebody might be a diabetic, somebody might be allergic to something. I, you know, me personally, I just want to avoid those type of issues. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. Um, now, let me show you how I do like my contests sometimes. So you guys have seen like points contests. I'm sure you run points contests. I, I kind of do it in a, um, an interesting way that um, sometimes I'll, you know, say whoever gets so many points will win this or whoever has the most points will win, you know, a $25 Amazon gift card here. But an easy way to do it so that you don't have to track it. Now, see, now I have an assistant so I can just have the assistant go track it so it's real simple, right? <laughs> but if you guys, you know, don't have an assistant and you don't have time to track everybody's points, um, I found a real easy way to do it is create a Google form. And basically, I give the link to the form, and then I will pin this post to the top so that everybody can see the points every day. And I just tell them, go click and fill out the Google form every single day. And then the Google form would look something like this, and it would have their name, and then it would ask them a question, right, relating to the points. Did you do your workout? Did you? You can do this for challenge groups too, guys, by the way. Um, but instead of saying yes, no, I will do a one or a zero, a one for yes and a zero for no. And if it was like a two pointer or a three pointer, I would do a three for yes and a zero for no. The advantage to that, right, is the Google form goes into a Google spreadsheet and then you could easily write a, you know, create a formula to sum up those points for that, that person. So what I do is I kind of, at the end, I just sort it by the person's name and then I um, highlight all of their entries and it automatically sums up the their their totals in like you know in a matter of seconds I can figure out all the points I don't have to go and manually do it or add it so that's a tip for you guys um, let's see 
some more tips um, for running successful groups. And I know you guys are all aware of these, but you know, icebreakers, asking and engaging questions, creating lots of videos that helps you build trust with people. Um, let's see, sharing your story, uh, obviously commenting. And the, the key for me for creating challengers and coaches is sending private messages. Now, I don't know if you guys do that, hopefully you do, but I start right in the beginning and I, especially anybody who is active, I will start sending them private messages. You know, just like encouragement, you know, just so that they get used to talking to me and, and trying to open up that dialogue with them. You know, like, hey, you know, what's, what are your goals? You know, that type of thing. So that way it gets them used to talking to me so that by the end, you know, the first time you message them, you're not asking them for something, right? You're not asking them to buy a challenge back, you know, so you've been talking to them for 10 days or 20 days or however long. So, okay, converting free into paid, that's um, kind of what I was saying at uh, you know, along with the messaging during, at the very end, here's something that I do. So I know you guys are interested in this is, have you ever heard of like a 21 day fix preview or 21 day fix, um, you know, sneak peek, some people call them. That's kind of what I do in my free groups. So what I will do is some people will put people in like a, a separate group you know, and then let's say it's a two day group and then they'll give them lots of information on like 21 day fix, right? They'll share, you know, their stories and their results and what it is and how to buy it and all that stuff. For me, I do that at the end of my challenge. And the way that I position it to people is I say, you know, congratulations, you completed the 10 days or the 20 days or whatever. I'm inviting you all to a uh, challenge completion Zoom call where we can all get on a Zoom call together and we can share our results and we can, uh, you know, introduce ourselves and where we're from and meet each other and, you know, all these people that you've been talking to online, you get, meet to, you get to meet face to face and you get to share your results, okay? And I tell them all that, you know, obviously, if they join the call, I will give them a special gift, you know, so I try to coax them to get them on the call. Then when I get them on the call, that's what I do. I have them, you know, introduce themselves, share their results, share their stories, talk to each other. They can do question and answer with me or, or anybody else. It gets them comfortable. And then I tell them after, after that, I tell them about my upcoming you know, paid challenge group, which I call my premier group, you know, because I, I tell everybody, okay, now you've done this. So what's next for you, right? So I tell them about how awesome my group is. And you know, it's going to be starting on July 18th. And I'm looking for, you know, five to 10 people to join and, and uh, I tell them I'll, they'll get 10 times the results, 10 times the support, you know, all, all that that you guys probably do as well. And then I talk about, um, you know, I'll just bring up a slideshow like this and I'll talk about, you know, the, like the 21 day fix or 21 day fix extreme, which is on sale. Right. And I'll tell them what it is. You know, I'll say to join my challenge group, you just need to get a beach body workout program. And let me tell you about these that are on sale this month, you know, and I'll tell them all about the 21 day fix, you know, and how it has the containers and the meal plan and you get Shakeology with it, which I, which I've been drinking during the whole workout. Right. So they, they know during the whole 10 days that they see me drinking Shakeology. So they know a little about it, but I tell them about it and what it's done for me. And I also show results. So I, I, I display pictures like before and after pictures of all my challenger. Well, you know, some of my challengers that have gone through the 21 day fix and showing their results, you know, it's like, Oh, here's my friend, Amy who lost 15 pounds, you know, and here's Jill who lost six inches, you know? So I'm showing, showing these results, you know, of previous contestants uh, who are now, you know, probably my coaches. And, uh, after sharing their results, I give them the special offer. And, you know, and then I'll say, you know, for anybody who attended this call or who was in my free group, you know, I will offer a fix a cookbook or I'll offer a three day refresh to anybody who wants to get a challenge pack and join my group, you know? So I, you know, I kind of reward them for being part of the group or joining the call. And that's how I get a lot of people to join. You know, it's just talking to them face-to-face, -face, meeting them, instead of just doing a post, instead of just, um, 
you know, throwing a link out there or even trying to private message, I find that just getting them face to face and talking to them. Um, and then once I get people signed up, what I do to generate the excitement is I will post like in the group, you know, I'll post, okay, we've got Susie signed up and Jill and, you know, Kay signed up. Is there anybody else? Because I'm closing registration, you know, this Friday. Is there anybody else that wants to join? You know, and then, you know, somebody else might jump in and say, yeah, oh, yeah, I, I, I need to wait until Friday until I get paid or whatever. And I'm like, okay, no problem, you know. So I do that. And uh, then I will create a little collage of their pictures, you know, and typically I'll post those on my timeline and I'll talk about them. And, and then sometimes I'll even get more of their friends that want to join. So I know a lot of you guys probably do that as well. Okay. So during the week after, oh, and by the way, you know, you want to set this up so that it ends at least two weeks before your premier group, your paid group starts, I like to set it up so that my free group ends at the first of the month. So typically if, I, if I'll do a 10 day clean meeting, I'll start it on the 20th because I want to hit success club five the first week, right? Of the month. And then I want to hit success club 10 by the second week of the month. So, so that's what I do. So the, during the first, like after the call during the first week is I will message every single person. I will, I will private message. I will follow up with them. And uh, that's when I start saying, hey, did, you know, if they didn't make the call, I'll still record it and I'll post the video and I'll tag all the people who didn't attend the call. You know, and a lot of times people will, will tell me, like when I create the event about the call, if they can't make it, they'll be like, oh, Greg, can you record it for me? Yeah, sure. No problem. I'll record it for you, you know, which I was going to do anyway. But I post the recording in the group. I tag everybody who didn't see it. And then I'll like wait a day or two and then I'll private message them and say, you know, hey, Jill, did you have a chance to watch the video from the call that you missed? You know, and, and uh, hopefully get them to watch it and then I follow up and say, hey, did you want to take advantage of my special offer and get my premier group, you know? And um, let me just show you, this is a spreadsheet. So again, I'm an Emerald personality, so I use this spreadsheet. And what I, I do is I track every single person in the group. Okay, if you guys aren't doing this, I highly recommend it. You know, it's just like I go to the members, I copy and paste all their names, and I load them up into a spreadsheet and I track, you know, are they my friend? Are they my customer yet? Are, did they, you know, attend the call? Um, you know, have they purchased a challenge pack? And currently I track, you know, this is the last one I did. And then you can see the 10 days there. And basically with the, with the uh, real food, I call it a real food challenge instead of clean eating because uh, everybody has clean eatings and I have real food. So um, what I do is I, I, I only ask them, instead of doing the points, like I talked about before with the clean eating challenge, I just say post one healthy meal a day. That's all you have to do, post one healthy meal. And at the end of the challenge, I'm gonna give every single person a prize who posts one a day. And you'd be surprised at how few actually post once every single day but um and then i just you know i have my assistant go and she marks an x she tracks them for me but um but then i will go down the list and you know i'll pri i use this spreadsheet to to private message every single person and i keep notes on you know are they interested uh what are they interested in and uh that's how i typically will hit at least SC5 just from my free group. Um, and obviously, um, during the sneak peek uh, call, I talk to them about coaching as well. So sometimes I get people that are, you know, I just tell them about how they can, you know, sign up and start saving money and refer people to Beachbody and earn a commission for it. So just real briefly, not a coach opportunity call, just real briefly, you know, you can sign up 
as a coach when you get your challenge back and you know save on all future purchases so a lot of people are definitely interested in that too so a lot of times i do get um people that are interested and uh, i'll even invite them to my sneak peek right from my my coaching sneak peek right from my free group so i don't know if you guys do that as well but um you know if if they are interested in the coaching opportunity i'll go right from my free group into my coaching sneak peek, which typically starts the first week of the month as well. So um, I think that's, that's basically it. So does um, anyone have any questions? Um, thank you. I love that. And I love my, I think my favorite part is the call. I definitely want to start doing that in our free groups. And also have you, um, been going live because I think the next time I run my free free clean eating group I'm gonna start trying to do that more as well have, have you been doing that I do yeah yeah and it, I did go live um, several times in my first group and then I um, got the recording you know how you can download the the video from Facebook yeah and I then load it up in buffer for my next time so that I don't have to go oh live. that's so smart repeat everything again so that's that's what i did yeah okay phone to buffer love that did you just like put it to youtube and then put it in buffer no because i like because buffer can post natively so it looks like you you know went live or or you just uploaded a video directly to facebook so if you do um youtube then you have it creates a link and a thumbnail right and uh, a lot of people don't click on it but if you upload live, you know how it starts playing as soon as you see it. So I think that's a lot more engaging. Um, and Buffer supports that. And the great thing about Buffer is after you, you schedule all your posts, right, and they all are done, you can re-buffer posts. So you can just click on a post and then like once I open my new group, I can just re-buffer those posts into the new group and I don't have to. What? I never do that. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to, you know, I just have to click on the, the new day that I want them to be or the new group. So can you do that within the same group as well, do you think? Yep, you can do it in the same group. You can move them to a different group, however you want to do it. Ooh, I'll have to let my assistant know. That's awesome. Um, okay, so just one quick question on that. So you are doing that, you're downloading it to your phone, so then you would have to do buffer from your phone to make that work, right? No, I don't download it from my phone, although you could. Um, I, um, you can save any Facebook video, if you guys aren't aware of this. If you go to m.facebook, so, so like if you're on your computer, you know, where it says www.facebook, just do m, which is the mobile version, right? Mm -hmm. Do m.facebook.com, you know, slash whatever the video is, and it'll bring it up and it'll look like a mobile, and then start playing the video and right click on it, and you can do save as, and it will save the video as a .mov, I believe. And then you can upload it to YouTube, or, oh, that's so or smart. upload it to Buffer, or whatever else you wanna do. Okay, perfect, thank you. Um, all right, then I do have another question. When you send your emails to customers, do you do it through your coach online office or do you have another system that you've inputted your customers to and what do you use? No, I use MailChimp. Okay. If you guys aren't familiar with MailChimp, you can have 2,000 customers in MailChimp for free. So it's an awesome tool and it's, it's much better for things not going to spam and it allows you to design like beautiful HTML emails by just clicking and dragging. You don't, you don't have to know any code. Um, so what I do is I load up all my customers into MailChimp. And I also, I have a separate MailChimp account that is a paid version. And that's for automating email. So when I get free leads uh, from Beachbody, free customers, I plug them into my automated emails. Um, um, and then, you know, I set up like an email on day one and day two, day five, day 10, you know, and I give them a series of emails. Um, but you don't want to do, you don't want to, the more, once you go to the paid account, then the more contacts you have, the more they charge you. So I keep that number really small. And that's just a, a little money saving tip for you guys. Just Okay. Cool idea. 
Um, and then, let's see, I had one other question. Okay, when you said that they, you had them invite people to your free group, this is, and you said some people would invite 50 people. My thought is if I have my coaches in there and then they have their people and their people are inviting people, how do you know, how do you keep track of who is inviting? So if I had added somebody and they added 20 people and I want to reach out to those 20 people, how do I, what, how do you go about knowing like these are my 20 people if they're just adding them to the group? Well, I don't run free groups with my coaches, you know, okay. because of that very problem. You know, and then I tell my, even my new coaches, um, you know, don't, don't run free groups with other coaches because you're trying to friend everybody. You're trying to get every single person as your customer. You don't want to have to worry about, oh, was this person invited by somebody else or referred to by somebody else's prospect, you know? So that's my advice is just run free groups yourself. You know? Okay. Gotcha. All right, so those were all my questions. Sorry, does anybody else have any other questions? Yeah, Danielle, it's MailChimp. I do run my um, paid groups with my coaches, though. Okay. So, or my newer coaches, at least, not my diamond coaches, but, but we run those together. So that works out really well, but that's a separate training. Yeah. <laughs> um, does anybody else have any questions for Greg, either on the free groups that he talked about or also – um, if you watch the volume training video that I shared that he, you can always ask questions about that as well. But, um, anybody have any questions? I have a question. Yeah. I, Greg, I saw your video in the diamond group about doing the invite and then you only have the one free group and you just add people to it every month. And I'm getting to where I have like a ton of people in my free group and I do like the first of the month to the end of the month. So I do like a whole month challenge and I have not had a single person convert to buying a challenge pack. I mean, is there like a point where you just give up on that and try something else? Yeah, I was doing the, I was doing the keep adding to the group. Um, but then I stopped because I got to about 600 people in the group. And then when I would add 20 new people, I found that they were, you know, kind of intimidated because there were 600 people in the group, even though, you know, 580 people were not posting, I guess it still intimidated them. So then I create, I said, okay, I'm just going to leave that group, you know, and I'm going to create a new group for my clean eating. And I added 20 people to it or 30 people and they were all posting. And I'm like, Okay, well, I learned, you know, so that's why I got to keep trying, you know. So now I create a separate group every time. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. That's, and I have like the same five people that do not want to buy a challenge pack, do not want Shakeology. They just, they are diehard. They love my free group. And I've kind of just accepted that with those. But it gets to a point where like it's, it's too much work and time for me to spend when it, there's no yeah. of. So when I go from my one free group to my next free group, I don't even tell the people in my existing free group. You know, I, I just tell them this group is closing. This is the end. You know, your option is to join my premier group, you know, and that's it. Um, now, if they see my ad again and they like, can I join? Yeah. You know, I'll let them join, you know, but I don't, say, hey, everybody, come on over and, you know, because you, okay. then they know that that's always an option for them. So why would they join your, your paid group if they know, oh, I'll just wait for the next, you know, free group to come along. So, okay. so instead of doing that rollover and keeping everybody in the same group, you close that out and then whoever wants to be in the next one, you put them in, right? Yes. Yeah. I will close that group and I'll kick them all out. Um, so I don't want to give them the, you know, the option of continuing to post and get the, you know, support and stuff like that. I still have them as friends, right? So they're still following me. I, this Amber. Yeah, I have um, a lot of, I work at a gym and a lot of the, huh? huh? Go ahead. Sorry. Can you guys hear me? Oh, can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah you're breaking up a little bit. But. 
How about that? <laughs> Is it like Ashley? Now? Yeah, Ashley. Ah. Okay. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Sorry, I'm in the ball court. Um, yeah, I'm having the same. I'm having the same trouble as Danielle. I have a lot of people um, because I work at a gym. And so a lot of those people are in my free group, and I do, I had probably three of those people from my previous free group put into um, a check that I had last time with Danielle. And, and I guess... <laughs> Ashley, can you type your I need question? to do, like, what you're doing is a club. Um, you're gonna be yeah. I can't hear you at all. <laughs> Just type your question. You died out at the end there. <laughs> um yeah, and another thing we you can do too is I have my assistant clear out the group um of everybody except her and I and clear out all the posts too. So if you didn't want to do a new group, you could do that too. Um, it's a lot of work if you if you don't have an assistant I would just create a new group but it's nice to to do that so that I'm not creating a new group and I already have the files and things in there each time that works too yeah that's a good idea well and what I thought about doing and Ashley could do this too is taking all the people in my free group and telling them that they're getting moved to my maintenance group for my challenge group and then if then just put people into our monthly clean eating group to mm -hmm. try and convert them. So that way I, I don't have quite so many groups of people scattered. Yeah, yeah. definitely. If you have a holding group or, or a general group, just move them over there and start over. I think that's what I'm going to do for August. Yeah. I did a thing too, where I was like, comment if you want to stay in. And so many people did. And I agree that, they sh you shouldn't let them think that they can just hang out in that free group all the time. Like, <laughs> you should give yeah. them a little more. When it's like every month, they're like, oh, what's next month's schedule? You know. Right. Yeah. Um, I also told Danny Danielle, I also told one of my girls that I don't run them anymore. I just had too much on my plate, the free exercise groups, and she um, started posting in one, and she uploaded a new photo, and now her and, like, four other people who – uh, refuse to buy anything <laughs> are all doing it together and I'm like good like just teach them if they want to do it tell them how you do it and they can take that group and upload a photo each month and you don't have to worry about it because and then too you know it gives me you an option to be like well girl you're basically already doing what you know I'm doing as a coach you might as well do it with us so right yeah definitely um okay so any other um and yeah, Danielle, or Ashley, Danielle will touch base with you. Any other questions about free groups or anything from anyone? All right. Well, thank you so much, Greg. That was awesome. And I definitely learned a lot of tips that and things that I definitely need to switch up for my free group. So we really appreciate your time. And we will talk to you soon and have a great evening. All right. Bye. Bye.